What's going on guys? It's your boy Lil Flossy and we're back with another one. Today I want to do something different. Again, I know I've said this like every video, but what are we now? Like six, six for six. Anyways, today I want to do something different. Even though I post entertaining stuff, I still want to be able to uh help you guys out in your daily life. Yeah, I just want to give you guys five college tips, college advice, college tips, things such as that. Without further ado, we're going to do what it do and go ahead and get into it. The first thing that you guys don't want to do is get early classes. If you've already made your schedule, <laughs> good luck. Now, my freshman year, I had 8.50 a.m. classes both semesters. One was public speaking, which actually wasn't as bad as people make it seem. Um, I guess that's probably because I like kind of good at talking to people, but or talking in front of an audience. But like it, it really wasn't that bad to me. I think I ended up passing. I ended up passing that class with a B. But um, my first semester, I had American history, American government history. I think it was it was some type of history about America. <laughs> No, it was history from 1856, from the 1600s to 1856. I remember that 1856, though. I remember that part. Remember when I had that class, I know for a fact I probably missed that class about maybe three to four times because I, number one, either I woke up late or I did not wake up at all, like at all, like it was slumped. Every time I didn't wake up and I look, woke up, you know how you get suspicious when you be sleeping for too long? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I would wake up and my heart would just straight drop, like no games, my heart would just straight drop because I know like, dang, that's money gone education gone and then it's hard it's hard to get up for those classes because it's not mandatory if you don't wake up nobody's gonna stress over you stress over it unless your parents are keeping tabs tabs on you or something like that nobody's gonna stress over it nobody cares it's all up to you you got to pull that motivation from inside of you you know what i'm saying you got to get up you got to go to class you got to do your work and nobody gonna tell you to do it second tip is to create a workflow now when you're creating your workflow you want to do something that works for you like i i'm a morning person i like getting up early and doing stuff whether it be going to eat doing some work researching and sometimes i'll just get up to watch youtube or some anime or something but what you want to do is create a workflow that works for you now last semester i got into my workflow uh I like had it set you want to try to set it as early as possible try to set it during the summer if you can just replace since you don't have the schoolwork yet just use that time that you use your workflow for for other things that you like to do to be to be productive whether that being you know research and stuff or hell get a start on your class I'm learning French right now I have to take French next semester so yeah just go ahead and get into your workflow number three is save money and there are plenty of ways to save money in college the first thing to do well the first and probably it might not be the easiest for some of you because i like to spend money too but just don't spend it don't spend it whether you're getting an allowance or you're working a job just try not to spend unnecessary amounts of money you feel me like that new game it can wait those shoes they can wait new clothes they can wait that new phone they can wait airpods they can wait all, the, all that type of stuff you don't need that at the moment what you need to be doing is saving your money whether you want to go out at a later time with your friends you'll be able to have those funds there or whether you really need something like I don't know say if you're driving if something happens to your car you're gonna want that money to be there when you need it so I would recommend trying to save as much as you can like whether if you have a job or allowance every time you get every time you get paid or get your money just put a certain amount to the side and take a certain amount 
for yourself until you get that payment again another way to save is actually unidays this is not sponsored in any type of way but unidays is an app website it's, it's basically a company that helps college students save money on things like i've been ever since i found out about it last semester i've been using it they give away scholarships uh you can get Apple Music five dollars a month instead of ten. They always they're giving discounts on plenty of websites, BNH photo and video. If you're into video and film production like me, they automatically get, they have a fifteen percent off code for students that, and it doesn't it doesn't go away. It's like a eternal discount code. It's like an eternal discount code. They have it for H&M, uh, ASOS, 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 however you say it. Um, so, yeah, take advantage of that. They have plenty of other stores, too. But take advantage of things like that. All you have to do is sign up with your student email and you'll be good to go. I know this might have been just said and said and said and said and said all the time like just thrown at you in your face like but safe sex safe sex is the way to go if you are intimate with other people please go get yourself checked and when you do get intimate with other people uh i recommend asking first to make sure like they don't have any type of disease or anything like that just want to make sure that you're practicing safe sex use a condom uh birth control every things like that like just protect yourself because there are two things that can come out of having sex there are, ah, ah there are three things that can come out of having sex one is good the other two are bad maybe one of them not so bad if you're planning on having a child but yeah just protect yourself be safe don't go doing everything that walks and don't let everything that walks do you number five is overall do not stress have fun like i know we moved in earlier than all the rest of the uh classes like sophomores juniors and seniors we moved in earlier than the rest of them i think it was probably like maybe three or four days before and they had the campus like filled with activities to do like everything every day was something to do now unfortunately you know i i was kind of a little bit of a shut-in i wasn't as open so like i ended up staying in my room you don't want to stress and you want to have fun make it you want to have that college experience. Don't stay in your room all the time like I did those first couple of days playing Call of Duty, maybe some Naruto, 2K, all that. Don't do not do that. But yeah, you want to have fun. Go out. Go to a couple of parties. Do not party too much. There are some people that I know that just will not stop. What you want to do is not create any early classes. Get your own workflow that works for you. Save your money because you're going to need it. Practice safe sex. Please practice safe sex. And don't stress. Don't stress out. Just have fun. Go with the flow. Don't go too much with the flow. Stay in your own lane. But um, yeah, that was something a little different for you guys. I think I'm going to start doing these more just to give you guys insights on things that I've experienced or things that I want to talk about. And I want you guys to talk back to me so go ahead comment in down below anything else you guys want to know if you have any questions or if you just want to respond and give some of your own advice just go ahead and do that in the comment section below people will read them um but yep it's your boy little flossy and i am out